Okay, continuing on with our intro acid bases activity and worksheet. Here's some more practice problems that I gave you and just a little bit of explanation about them. So it says, what's the pH of the solution that contains 25 grams? Um, as soon as I see this 25 grams, hopefully you're thinking that you've got to get it convert over to moles because we work with moles, all right? So that's my first thing that I'm going to do. As soon as I get to moles, I was given liters of water. I'm going to get this over to molarity because I always have to do calculations with molarity. Um, once I have that, I'm going to plug it in there and I get 0 0.34, okay? Same thing again, I was given grams of nitric acid, so I have to remember what nitric acid is, and that's just a simple formula, I got that. Um, once I have that, I convert it over to moles, and then I've got to do liters, and that's just simply taking your 750 divided by 1,000, and I get 0 0.750 liters. I get to switch over to molarity. As soon as I have that, I plug it in there and I get my pH value. All right, this one I had um, two acids that were being put together into water, and so the question is, what is the overall pH? So again, I'm gonna, I gotta get molarity out of this. So I'm gonna take my moles of my liters, moles of my liters, and I simply add these two up to find out what the overall molarity of the acid is. Once I have that, I put that into my equation and I get my pH. All right, so this one was pretty much straightforward. It gave me the molarity straight up. I basically plug it in the equation and then I've got to interpret that number. So it gives me 6.35. We know that at seven is neutral. Anything less than seven is acidic. Anything greater than seven is basic. And that's why this is slightly acidic. This is a weak acid. Um, an acidic solution has a pH of 4. If I dilute it to 10, what's the final, the final volume is 1,000 a, a milliliters. What's the pH of the resulting solution? So this one is our dilution equation, M1V1 equals M2V2. Um, hopefully you remember that if I have a pH of a 4, that my number is 1.0 e to negative fourth. I put that value of 10 in there, equals x times 1,000. When you do this, you're going to get the x equals 1e negative 6. My pH is 6. 